It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Won't you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Hi. And today I'm going to continue my continuation of my theory of watching and um, reviewing all of my uh, Tom Hanks movies that I have on DVD. And also, this is my continuation of my theory uh, watching and uh, reviewing some of my favorite uh, actor or actress movies that I have a bunch of the movies on DVD that I consider to be some of my favorite actor or actress of all time. Okay? And if you've been following me here on my uh, channel, then you know who are some of my favorite actor or actors of all time. Like Crane Schwartz, John Wayne, Harrison Ford, James Gardner, just to name a few. Okay? So today, for this uh, Tom Hanks uh, movie review, I'll be reviewing A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Okay? So, um, let me know uh, in the comment section below what your thoughts and opinion on A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. And if you like it or don't like it. And what are some of your favorite Tom Hanks movies? And what uh, uh, your thoughts and opinion on Tom Hanks as an actor? And what are some of your favorite actor or actor of all time? Okay? So, um,. Um, let me give you the, uh, the background out of the way, and then I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on the movie, and then, um, I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on Mr. Rogers, and then I'll give you my grade for the movie, and then I'll be done. Okay? A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. It's directed by Marley Taylor. I hope that's how you say, say the name. Uh, starring um, Tom Hanks, uh, Chris Cooper, Matthew Ryan. Um, November 22nd, 2019, 25 million with the budget and make 68.4 million at the box office. Okay? Uh, the film premiered at Toronto International Film Festival on September, um, September 7, 2019, and was, came in theater release in the United States on November 22, 2019. Sony Picture Releasing, roasting 58 million worldwide, criticized, Chris played paint, and right? Performance, Hiller Dress, and his heartwarming message is returned by Time Magazine as one of the 10 best films of the year for its performance. Hank was nominated for Best Supporting Actor at the Academy Award as well as the Golden Globe Critic Troy Green Actor, uh, Guy Warren, and BAFTA Warren, among others. Okay? Um, so, uh, it's about, uh, it's said about, about the 1990 article, Can You Stay Hero, by Tom Juno, Puberty and Inquirer, it stars Tom Hanks, okay, it's a fight, uh, it's about, uh, Lloyd Bokel, who get in a fight with, uh, his dad, Gary, uh, at a wedding, and, um, okay, uh, so, uh, it really not, uh, uh, really about, uh, Mr. Rogers, okay, and not really a biopic about Mr. Rogers, okay, so, uh, okay, and, for the movie, the movie starts off, said that it's based on a true event, um, and, and, and Mr. Rogers said, uh, oh, this is my friend, 
And let me tell you what happened. And tell you about Lori Bocal, who got in a fight with her dad at a wedding. And about forgiveness, okay? You know, Mitch Walker show about forgiveness. And the guy mad. And got in a fight with the dad. And his dad, it, it, it shows what happened. Uh, Lori Bocal got in a fight with his dad at a wedding, okay? So the message of the movie, the, the theme of the movie is about forgiveness. And Lori Volko uh, worked at the magazine and he got on an assignment to interview uh, Mr. Rogers. Okay? So it kind of like have uh, two stories. One story is about uh, uh, he mad and getting in an argument with his, his father. Jerry, and the other story is he's trying to, uh, Lori, he's trying to interview Mr. Wright, okay? Um, toward the end of the movie, his dad have a, uh, like some kind of heart attack or something, and then, uh, they reunite at the end, and then his, his dad dies, okay? Um, um, uh, her, 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 his boss, I like what uh, he wrote about um, Mr. Rogers, so they publish it. Okay, um, okay. Um, so, um, okay. Rotten Tomato gave this a ninety-five percent. The critics on Rotten Tomato gave it a ninety-five percent. The audience ninety-two percent. Um. Um, I prefer the, uh, Won't You Be My Neighbor, the documentary, okay, um, um, because, because I thought they were going to be a biopic, or, or, or they are going to be about Mr. Roger, and, and it wasn't, okay, the my big, the only negative I have with this movie is that it wasn't about Mr. Roger, okay, um, Okay, when you go to, when you go to see a Game Bond movie, you want the movie to be about Game Bond. When you go to see a Godzilla movie, you want the movie to be about Godzilla fighting monsters. When, when you go, when you go, um, see, um, uh, let's see what else, uh, when you go see Transformers, you want to see Transform uh, robot fighting all about find the Decepticon, okay? Um, so, uh, yeah. So, I was looking for this movie when it came out back then. Uh, let's see when the movie came out. Uh, uh, what is it? 2019. Uh, and I went back and um, watched uh, a bunch of the old episodes I have on DVD. And I like Mr. Rogers. And... I wish that they would play a bunch of the old episodes on TV, you know, rerun. Um, okay, and I do have it. The movie on DVD. Uh, Tom Hanks is good at Mr. Rogers, you know, Craig Rogers. Um, okay. Um, uh, so that's my biggest negative percent is that, uh, is that, um, and not about Mr. Rogers, and, um, and, um, okay, but I wasn't bored with it, I will watch it again, and I will highly recommend it, if you're a Tom Hanks fan, or if you're uh, a fan of the TV show, so I'm going to give uh, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, a beat. Okay, so uh, that's it, and until next time, thank you and God bless.